We're filming a video today called The Howler. Why am I calling it a howler? It's because if you take this resistor out and you leave it out, it's going to howl. The horn will be way too loud for the speaker. I know that people get confused sometimes and think if they remove the resistor, it's going to play the horn a little bit louder so it's more satisfactory if they need more high frequencies. If you take it out, there's no way to attenuate the frequencies, no way to turn it down or up. So what we recommend then is that you remove this resistor and place another one of a different value. If you go with a lower value, the horn will be quieter. If you go with a higher value, the horn will be louder. That's determined by the color code on the resistor. We will give you a chart that shows what the values are. So with that said, let's go ahead and do a video demonstration of what it actually sounds like when you take the resistor out and play without the resistor. So I'm going to step around in front of the speaker here and reach from behind and show you what it's like and actually demonstrate to you what the difference is with the resistor in and the resistor out. And you'll see there's a marked difference in the balance of the speaker. Okay, let's step around in front of the speaker here. This is being recorded from the microphone on my chest and not from our Rode microphone behind me. So anyway, let's go ahead and do it. This is with the resistor in. You'll notice the sound is much more balanced. Let's take it out and see what happens. And where are you when the sun goes down? You're so far That's away. not a balanced sound, my friends. Resistor in, you can hear that it's balanced, appropriate. Resistor out, not good, bad sound, bad. Much better. Thank you for watching.